In this video, we are going to go ahead and discuss uh, cash versus accrual reporting in QuickBooks. The best way to show you uh, the difference between cash versus accrual is going to be on the profit and loss. Okay. So first things first, uh, if you have your company file set up, up here under preferences, and then down under reports, and under company preferences. You can set your report basis to be either accrual or cash basis, however you want to run it. I always suggest to my clients to run it on an accrual basis naturally. And then if you need to look on a cash basis, you can go ahead and modify it in each individual report. So what is cash and what is accrual basis? When you're running your business in accrual basis, what that means is your profit and loss statement is going to be based off of the invoice date. So if you have an invoice that's created between right now here, 12-1 and 12-31, it's going to be posted in the December profit and loss, whether or not the client has paid for that invoice. All right. Same thing goes for bills. On the accrual basis, when the bill is posted, so when you enter the bill in the system, it's going to hit your profit and loss statement. Not when it's paid, but when the bill is created in QuickBooks. So if I look at the detail of this down here, notice all of these have a posting date in December. Okay, so that's why they show up on this profit and loss statement, this accrual profit and loss. Now what will happen if I switch it over to cash basis? So I'm going to go ahead and make sure you pay attention to this total construction income, 51000 I'm going to modify this report and choose cash. Okay. Now it's going to reset and it's going to say cash basis. We have income of 43000 What does that mean? That means that we received $43,000 in cash during this period during December. Doesn't mean that that's the work we earned. This could be cash from a project that was done six months ago and the client is just now paying. Running your business on a cash basis is not as helpful when you're trying to figure out how your business is doing. A lot of people do choose to run it off of a cash basis because they like to see how their cash flow, how much. So you should expect $43,000 in income to have come in. You would have had, you know, $17,000 of expenses go out during this month. So that's a good way to look at your cash flow using this cash basis statement. However, as I mentioned, if you want to be able to see month over month or year over year how much income you made, you want to run it on an accrual basis. Uh, so that you can understand how much true income was posted and how much you really earned based on the work that you've completed during this period, not necessarily how much cash you've received. Okay. Some instances, though, where my clients have liked using the cash basis reports are when you're doing sales by rep. All right, we're going to do a sales by rep summary report. Okay, so see here, we don't have any sales reps set up in this file, but right now it's running on an accrual basis and there's 52,999.69. But when I modify it and I modify it to a cash basis, it's going to change to 43,000. Now, why is that beneficial? The reason that that's helpful is a lot of people pay their sales reps based off of when they have been paid, right? You don't pay your sales rep until you've been paid for that invoice or for that sales receipt, you know, for that transaction. So running this report, sales by rep summary, and getting it on a cash basis allows you to make sure that you're paying only for those commissions that have already been paid into the company. So that is a little explanation on running cash versus accrual profit and loss.